Hi everybody, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at the sunny Starfire Complex where the Sounders just finished their third day of training after a nine-day break for the World Cup. The break gave the players a chance to rest, also a chance to recover from injuries. I've done the same thing probably, this is my, my third time in my career, it's always been right around four or five weeks. Um, you kind of always hope for it to go faster, but at the same time, um, I mean those things get tricky, it's a muscle injury, so you got to listen to your body. Um, but uh, I'm feeling good, so the hard part's past me hopefully. After missing the first half of the 2009 season with an injury, Vianas is anxious to return to the field after a quad strain has sidelined him for the last several games. He doesn't even want to hear about his past injuries and is clearly in a positive mood about his health. Was it particularly tough for you after last year having some injuries and then finally... Yeah, I'm not going to think about it. Okay. But thanks. I'm moving forward, guys. I'm healthy. I'm feeling good. I practice today. I'm practicing tomorrow. We'll go from there. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Just take me right back to those <laughs> days in the training room by myself. Those were fun. In addition to Vianos and possibly Osvaldo Alonso, Nate Jaqua has made his return to full training in hopes of making his 2010 debut Sunday against the Union. Jaqua's to the point where I think he can he can play some off the bench. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have to see how he comes along today. Uh, yesterday's practice, he, I mean, fitness wise and running wise, he was okay. Uh, his touch wasn't uh, wasn't spectacular because it was you know full tempo, which he hasn't been into today. It was already much better. You know, you could see him settle in. He scored a good goal and. Uh, in the goals in tight game and you know so it, it'll get better each day but he, he should be somebody we can consider for the 18 for sure. The slew of players returning from injury comes at a great time for the Sounders FC as their schedule is about to get congested with US Open Cup and CONCACAF Champions League games making a healthy lineup all the more important. Staying healthy is important uh, managing training properly you know making sure that you've got recovery intermixed with actual training times and uh, and then just a matter of uh, you know you got to do a little bit of squad rotation. You gotta you gotta mix guys. Some guys seem to seem to deal all right with playing game after game. They are able to take on that load. Some some are different body compositions, and for them taking on a heavy heavy load of games is not the best option. So a lot of times it comes individual decisions. So it's not like oh Ziggy must think this guy's a better player. He's playing him all the time. It's sometimes somebody just has the physical capacity to do it while the other guy maybe doesn't. But uh, it takes management of your squad rotation and, uh, you know, and proper management of training. I mean, we need everyone available at all times. Uh, this is a deep team, and I think everyone that's been given the opportunity has played well. Is Adrian here? Yeah. And, uh, uh, <laughs> but no, it's going to be important because uh, you never know who the hero of the day is going to be. And, um, we need fresh legs, and sometimes that's the most important thing in this game. Um, and we do have a lot of matches coming up, um, and it's physically impossible to be at your best for all these games if you're playing two, three games a week. Um, so everyone's going to get an opportunity. It's important that guys are healthy and fit. Sounders have Wednesday off. The U.S. will face Algeria in a group stage match. Also, England facing Slovenia in the morning. We'll hope to see uh, some good results out of those games. Also, the Sounders return to training on Thursday for their last day before heading to Philadelphia to face the Union at brand new PPL Park. For SoundersFC.com, I'm Matt Gashk.